Good morning, everyone, and welcome back for the next installment of our NitroGuard BioCubes um, nitrate control update. Uh, today, I'm just going to give you a quick update. Nothing really big to share. Um, here's what we're reviewing right there. Now, as I said in my last video, I've been in contact with actually the owner of the company, a pretty helpful fellow named Mark. Um, and he did recommend that I should probably try getting a little bit more um, into my system because there is obviously a source of nitrates leaching out, which I suspect to be the gravel that I, uh, the crushed gravel there that I had stirred up a month ago. Um, which I guess was a bad idea. So I call my local restore, they're all out of the product, so I'm gonna have to wait. But in the meantime, my nitrates are at 15 now, so they're actually, um, l they've held off a lot lower, um, and I'm hoping that they're gonna continue dropping now. I do not blame the product for how long it's taking because of what I did with the uh, gravel bed. And so it's just, I. I'm going to hold in there with hope. It um, really hopefully is going to work. I did, however, lose a coral right there, uh, torch coral. I'm not sure if that was related to the high nitrates or not. I'm going to suspect it was. Um, I think that's the only, <coughs> excuse me, the only one I've lost. The uh, Other than some zoos, every time I put zoos in on a plug, you can actually watch the damn amphipods come up and eat them at night if you look in with a flashlight, them and the crabs. But only certain zoos. The lights have only been on for five minutes, so things are still kind of waking up. Uh, but obviously they don't eat the yellow zoos, the orange ones there, or the green ones. Those will actually open up a lot more. There's a snail bugging them. So that whole patch fills up with them later on. They're all just bent over with him. Anyhow... Um, Elegance Coral has started um, coming out a little more now, which is uh, making me happy. I really hope he makes it. It's a beautiful coral when it's open. And I've added, I think maybe I've added some stuff since our last uh, update, maybe not. But um, everything else seems to be doing okay. I was getting some algae. At the top there, if you can see it on that top rock, if I focus, we're going to go blue. So I don't know what you guys would rather see me focus or turn it blue. The beauty of the iPhone underwater for uh, this kind of stuff is that it makes everything go blue if you try to focus. But um, anyhow, so what I've done for that is I've killed my uh, two actinic 54-watt uh, T5s, and I'm running just the LEDs. So if I stand back, you can see the tank with the LEDs. I still need some more lighting in the front. As you can see, the backs were pretty well lit up. But I need some more lighting up in the front. So what I do, though, is because I don't have any right now, is I move that like that. And I just I change the position. It gives different corals the light now. So now these ones can have a day with the light forward. And just, I'm looking into different lighting options. I was thinking about getting a couple of the um, programmable sets off of eBay just to have something new and different. But um, anyhow, back to the Nitro Guards. Um, so I'm using 500 uh, mils, is it? I believe. Let's grab the container. We'll come down here where we can see this. So that's what I'm using in my system. And talking to Mark, the owner, he said that he preferred it the product best placed in the bag using the bomb method, as they call it. I actually added a second air pump and air stone to try to give it some more flow. So all that air bubbles there is running through the product. Um, but I only did that two days ago, adding the second air stone and pump. So, or not two days ago, really yesterday, I guess. So we're going to have to give it a bit of time to see what happens with that. And we're going to have to see. I uh, seem to get a lot of sludge in here, which I believe is caused by the uh, nitrates I had. So 
I'm hoping that this stuff will cure it. I've resisted. I've been tempted to use, um, you know, additional products for nitrate relief, such as they've got, um, I think it's Two Little Fishes or something has, or Instant Ocean has um, some stuff anyway, natural nitrate reducer. But I don't want to try mixing the products because I thought, well, I don't want to screw up my results in my test here. So we're just going to leave it. At this point at 15, there's nothing's in danger. So um, that's it. Really, that's my update. I've got my parameters here. Uh, one of you guys look at the fish. I'll read them to you. pH was 7.8. It's a little low, so I did get a bottle of um, what you call it. 8.4 and there's various things that I see that can cause the pH to drop like that and one of them like my calcium is really high and my alkalinity is only at 2.1 so it's kind of low uh, DKH 6.1 that should be like 7 to 8 or something I don't know or um, I think uh, natural seawater is 11 or something. I don't know. I'm no scientist, that's for sure. But um, I'm trying to level things out with the 8.4 first and back to dosing alkalinity, not calcium, though. I have a feeling my calcium is coming from the salt. I was reading a form uh, the other day, and I was wondering how my calcium levels could be so high. And... I don't, I'm not dedicated to one brand really, I just kind of buy whatever's on hand. So sometimes it's reef crystals, um, but it's been Kent. And Kent output for salt or for calcium is 540 apparently. So that could be a problem. That's what it said on the website, but wouldn't you know it, that's what I've got for an overflow. So let's quickly, eh, it says there 425 to 450. But, um, oh, never mind. In a reef aquarium, right there, son of a bitch, they were right. Let me zoom in, or focus. That could be how my calcium got so high. I don't know why they would do that. Why would they set it so high? My corals are just not consuming it as quickly. Lulu, shut up. She gets upset. Um, yeah, so, well, let me fix the blur there, guys. It, things will get there. It's going to take some time, I think, but I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried. I don't feel like, you know, it's crashing or anything like that. It's just, um, it's going to take some time to fix what I've done, and I'll keep you guys updated the whole way along, and we'll see what happens. So... Say goodbye to the tank for now, and I'm going to go pet my bird.